Check out this rare creature spotted in Maine. On Monday, a volunteer spotted an albino porcupine as he was leaving the Seashore Trolley Museum in Kennebunkport. And six, since then, rather, a picture of the critter has really gone viral. NECN's Dustin Vladkowski tonight has more on what's become the museum's newest attraction. History, the scent of steel, and trolley rides. The draws at Kenny Bunkport Seashore Trolley Museum. This week, something new went on display. Something white, furry, and wicked cute. Some visitors were walking toward me out of the field here and said, what's that animal? Volunteer motorman Herb Pence was first to find out a baby albino porcupine had moved in. It was 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday. Herb had just finished his shift when he saw something moving around in the grass. I saw this white object and it moved. Which is when Herb's friend Fred came out to take the picture. I said, what is it? He said, I don't know. It may be a groundhog and or a skunk. He said, I think it's a skunk. I said, well, you know, it doesn't look like a skunk. Since Monday, the museum's gotten calls, questions, and even launched a contest to name the creature. What would you name it? Um, Spiky. Other suggestions, Tribble, Trolley, Herb, Porky McPorcupine, and the more avant-garde, Lamp. Regardless, the nameless celeb was nowhere in sight Thursday, which is just fine, Herb says. There's plenty else to see. Frankly, I hope nothing happens to it. The museum is already caring for the critter, along with the trolleys. A water bowl is put out, and there's plenty of porcupine food on the grounds. We have a lot of salad here. And a lot of heart. The porcupine has joined a warm family of motormen and trolleys with decades of stories. A family that wants it to thrive and bring in a few more curious kiddos. We have a great story to tell. We have a lot of equipment from around the United States. And frankly, we can always use the money. In Kenny Bunkport, Dustin Blakowski, News Center, Maine.